Thank you. Good morning. Uh, my name is Jaime Mendoza, and I was born in Delicias, Chihuahua. Uh, Delicias, Chihuahua is in the biggest state of the country, and it's right here. It's about four, four and a half hours to five hours to, to, from the border from El Paso. But if my, my wife is driving, we'll make it in three. And uh, this is the, the city. As you can see, it's a big city. The center of the city, it's right there. And this, uh, the cent this is right in the center of the city. That's a big, uh, a big, uh, uh, what do you call those things? No, it's not, it's not a hydraulic plant, it's a dam, a dam. But it's, uh, it's real, real, real big. And, you know, we used to go up there every time we go. There's a lot of restaurants by the dam, and you can get fresh uh, fish and all this stuff. So it's really nice. My son, my son was baptized in a church somewhere in this area. And it's hard to tell with these pictures, but, but yeah, the, the, the list is, is pretty big. It's a... Uh, I guess with all the surrounding areas, it's close to a million people now. So, go ahead and click. And this is my, my family. This is my, my father, Andres, my brother, Sergio, my sister, Leticia, my brother, Javier. Unfortunately, my mom passed away. So when, uh, when I came to the United States, I was 12 years old. And um, we, I went to school in, in the Swink area, Rockyford area, for three years. We went back after three years. And then um, I... I did uh, high school up there, I did college. I got a two-year degree in accounting. I started uh, civil engineering school. Unfortunately, I did not finish. But I worked in uh, Juarez, I moved to Juarez, and I worked there as a industrial engineer for three years. It was uh, a German, a German uh, company, and we used to build uh, all the electrical components for Volkswagen vehicles. Let's see. And I come from a baseball family. My dad was a good baseball player. He was a pitcher. I was a catcher, and, and uh, my son, William, we call him Billy, he, he was a pitcher to, to all through high school and college. And actually, my dad and I, we played in the same team at one point. So it was pretty, pretty nice. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay, go ahead. And uh, my hobbies are, you know, I coached uh, baseball for many, many years. And um, we love traveling. We do camping. Uh, I have, I'm an inventor actually. I have a patent pending right now. And I have a couple more in the way. And uh, two of the products that I should have had a patent for that I never applied, they're in production right now. So if you have an idea, follow it. And we do like to go travel. We, my sons, Billy and Anthony, William, he, is, uh, he has a degree in chemistry, physics, and he's a master in material science engineer. Anthony, what is Anthony's picture? Oh, this is Anthony. He's a graduate from the Naval Academy in Annapolis. And then this is my son, William. This is a picture of Anthony in Kenya when he, we were doing Operation Smile. Uh, and that's Billy up there. He's also, also an opera singer. He spent a couple of summers in Europe 
doing a upper up there. And this is my father. And we're actually inside the Pentagon right here with my, with my son. Go ahead. And Bill and Anthony, they wanted to, to go and be part of Operation Smile. So to earn money to go to Operation Smile, we started a little uh, rental business for uh, bounce houses. And that's how they earned money to, to go on missions. William, he went to Paraguay. Anthony went to uh, Kenya. And Roberta, and Anthony and I, we went to China. Stephen was there with us too. And it was a fun time. Uh, after, in 1987, I came from Mexico and I married Roberta three years later. And when I came, when I came, uh, I didn't know, I started working in the cattle industry. I didn't know nothing about cows. The only thing I knew is that you could eat them, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we got married and, you know, we had the kids and I already talked about the kids, so. Um, we started the Bounce Castle rental business for Bill and Anthony so they could uh, earn money for their, their missions. And then uh, <clears throat> I started working at Otero and I worked here for seven years at the physical plant and then I retired the first time. So three years uh, later, we started uh, a little restaurant because I got bored. So we bought a little property and this is the building that was there before. And this is the one I built. And we had it for, for about five years. And then uh, it was great. It was great for five years. The problem is that uh, the ladies that were supposed to be the cooks, one quit one week before we even opened. The other one lasted six weeks. So I became a chef in, in a hurry. <laughs> so we spent five years working and it was good. It was great business. We met a lot of people. The problem is that we were working 16 plus hours a day, seven days a week, and we couldn't find any help, good reliable, reliable help. So after five years, my doctor said, you better quit doing what you're doing. So I had to do something different. So I got a job offer with the uh, Department of Labor. And so now I had two jobs. It was a little bit worse now. So I did that for a few years and it was great. You know, being able to speak Spanish has been opening a lot of doors for me. It helped me a lot. I used to take care of people from uh, the Kansas border, all the way to Colorado Springs, Spain, that area. All the people that come from Mexico and other countries to work in the agricultural business. And it was, it was good, it was good. But then COVID hit and our business with the restaurant doubled and we still didn't have people. And the reason that it doubled is because we were one of the only ones in town that were open. We never got shut down. So we, we were working more and more and more every day. And then after I started working with the Department of Labor, it was great. And then I got COVID. So I was in really, really bad shape for six weeks. So that's when we decided to shut it down. So we took, uh, we took uh, about a year and a half off. We traveled, we did a lot of things. We went with our kids, everything. And then uh, I met Maureen. <laughs> I met Maureen and she needed some help, so that's where I'm at. No. Did I miss anything? That's the rest of the story, that's it. Let me see. Let me see. 
What's that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I forgot about that. You know, when um, <clears throat> I wanted my kids to learn the, the culture, to learn Spanish, so we bought a farm in Mexico. And we used to go up there sometimes four times a, a year, and it was great. But things became pretty dangerous in Mexico. So after about 10 years, we, we sold it. We still have a house up there, but I wanted my kids to go and learn everything about my culture. So that's when I started uh, Mendoza Rentals. I forgot about that. And that one, we still have uh, rental houses, and that's what we're doing right now, too. So. And here, oh, I forgot about this. Last year, I became an American citizen. That's me. So. And uh, I, I do like, I love working with these kids. I think it's a very good program. And I hope I can stay here for many years. So, and have some salsa. Did I miss anything? Think we're good? What's that? Are you building a house? Well, that's my other job. 30 years ago, I built my own house when we, when we got married. So now decided to build another one, so I'm building another one. I don't have nothing else to do. So. <laughs> that good? Can you tell us what your patent's for, or is it a secret? That one, I, can, I cannot say nothing about that. <laughs> you know what happens if you ask me for my salsa recipe, right? <laughs> Yeah, that, the, those three products I can't uh, talk about that yet. No. So, if you guys have any questions, let me know if you have any secrets. Any secrets? Any questions? <laughs> Do you rent houses to college students? Uh, we did. We we have a few left, but we don't have. As many, but we we used to rent to just about anybody. No. Do you dance? Me dance? Yeah. yeah. Salsa, salsa. Let's dance. Let's. <laughs> yeah. But you do dance, right? Oh yeah. 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 We we love going dancing. Oh. No, that's uh, that's just regular. Regular for me. You know, when, when uh, people used to come to a restaurant, they wanted Jaime Ha. That means that it's really hot. They always ask for Jaime Ha. <laughs> yeah. Anybody else? Okay. Well, we appreciate you, Jaime. Thank you for Woo. coming back. And thank you for your Thank you.